All right, y'all, my Wi-Fi went down. So I wanted to give a short rebuke, <laughs> a short one. Um, so uh, if you could find an image of the Ramsey's Temple in 1849, I will cash app you $50 right now. Now, I should say, if you can't provide it, you got to send me $50. Nah. See, I've already dealt with all this information going back to Joe Betty. You know what I'm saying? I, I deal with Egypt in the 18th century. I, I, I don't deal with 19th century Egypt or 20th century Egypt. I deal with 18th century Egypt. Okay? And, uh, you know, so hardline boss, hey man. Uh I don't know if you're in there. Let me see if you're up in here. Nope, I don't see. Uh all right. Hey, if you can find, if you can find the Ramsey's Temple, 1849, I give you fifty dollars. All right, come get your money. Come get your money. All right. My Wi-Fi went down, you know what I mean? I don't got that Wi-Fi issue on my phone, obviously. So uh, that's all I wanted to share. I'll have to go in, in on uh, the World Fairs uh, next week. Because I got to do something. And my wi I am having some Wi-Fi issues. Let me see if I got it fixed. Because that's only going to take 10 minutes. Uh, send the pictures to Black Lotus Television at Gmail. Send it to, and I'll send you fifty dollars right now. Don't if you don't send me the guy sitting on the head of the Ramsey's head. Don't send that, please don't, because that's not from eighteen forty nine. That's after that's uh, eighteen fifty two. They're trying to say eighteen fifty one, but that's eighteen fifty two. Yeah, he has an 1852 pick. You're not gonna find you're not gonna find Ramsey's anything before 1850. You're not gonna find it unless you're a magician. <laughs> if you're a magician, you'll find it. Peace, y'all. Yeah, yeah, my uh. I'm all right, my Wi-Fi went down for a sec. Black Lotus Television. Okay. All right, man. See, I'm not going to do y'all like I do the Wi-Fro, so I'm going to just tell y'all this. I've already debunked. Everything y'all going to share with me. Anything you're going to share with me about Ramsey's? If it's about Ramsey's, I cannot or two-time comment. Don't even do it. Don't even do it. So there it is. Let me share it. <clears throat> there it is, y'all. Hold on. All right, y'all, check that out. Something that was made in 2016 at
And what I'm going to do is show on my laptop. I got to put all this stuff in manually. Y'all bear with me. Damn, man, I wish it did. That thing could just pop up. <coughs> Excuse me. Clear my throat. All right, where can I flip my, my can? Can't flip my can. Are y'all getting to the site? All right, did anybody get to it? Oh, the proper understanding is that the people went into Egypt making all that nonsense. Man. That's the proper understanding. And it started in the 18th century. All right. Covering up what it really looked like. Oh, man, I can't find it. I cannot find that. Oh uh, yeah, you can send it to my e my emails, Black Lotus Television at Gmail. You know, um, not to make it a cheat, but I have a lot of friends, good, good people that I know that are from Egypt. They live in America, stay in my city, known them for years, even started my society with uh Rita Eloa from Cairo. But uh, I debated a lot of them over there, man. They don't know that stuff serious. Only people in America or tourists, only the, only the tourists, people who, who believe in the tourist attractions are heavy into this stuff. So can't, can't find that site, man. So I'm going to try it again. Okay, that's what I did wrong.
So I've seen the images of what what stuff looked like. And I do not share that with anybody. <laughs> well, I mean, you know what? I have shared that with a couple of people. But just anybody, nah. I don't, I don't really share that because that's somebody's personal, personal pictures. Like I actually asked the person before I share it. Man, if you don't get this shit out of here, what the hell is this, man? What the hell is that? Bruh. All right, let me go back to the info. Let me show you. Why the hell can't I turn my camera around? I thought I had a way to turn my camera around. Okay. See, I will say this. Uh, Wikipedia is full of it, but a lot of places are full of it, too. So uh, I don't know what's going on here. 1849. And that's all you can show me. Is this right here? This dilapidated looking statue. Out of all that stuff, you're going to show me a dilapidated looking. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. Soon after the invention of photography, which was 1839, let me blow it up. So that's it. You're not going to show that great, the great Ford in, in the mountain or nothing, none of that? None of that. Okay. Just that. That's it. That, can y'all see this? Where, let me see. Where you at, Hardline Boss? Where you at, man? Where you at? Don't don't run and hide. See, my Wi-Fi messed up and was shut down, man. Don't run and hide, man. I'm going to start calling you soft line employee. <laughs> I'm, I hate, 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 where you at, man? Where you, man? You got, hey. No. Y'all say, okay, since y'all say, people say I look Latin. No bueno. This, no bueno. No, no. This, this terracotta looking statue, no bueno. No. Good. Look at that exhibition. Oh, we talking about some tourist attraction, world fair shit, buddy. The exhibition, let me blow it up. See, my Wi Fi getting a little better, man, but I, I, I gotta go, y'all. I really gotta go, man. I gotta go. I'm having fun. Where you at, Hardline Boss? <laughs> Where you at, man? Don't run, man. Don't run. You know, I'm not one of them people that are all, like, personal. Like, oh, I'm trying to challenge them. I just show to prove them that that's not the, the Ramsey's. And please don't tell me that dilapidated. The exhibition of the Kunst Distorish Museums. Ancient Egyptian and Near Eastern collection showcases around 60 vintage prints that offer insights into the era of early photographers. I mean, early photography. I'm sorry, early photographs, 1849, 1875. Okay. 
That's the reason why I said 1850. Soon after the invention of photography, 1839, the first photographers traveled to the Nile to take pictures of ancient Egyptian monuments. Most of them were artists fascinated by this new medium who, who showed their work at exhibitions. In addition to Egypt, most of them also visited the Holy Land, Syria, and Lebanon. In Egypt, they traveled by boat to Abu Simbel in the far south with some even continuing on to Nubia and the Sudan. All right. All right. There you have it. So There we go. This right here. More info. They got a privacy policy on it. So it's not going to give me the date on the information. Okay. So anyway, that's why I said that day. That's why I said that year. So, uh, yeah. Nah. Nah, buddy. But in case you're like, what? I mean, that's that. Nah, bro. This is that's it. The image right here for Abu Simbel. That other picture is is after further stuff. So, 1849. That's all they had. That other stuff. Yeah. After those projects went through, we're gonna do all that, all that stuff, all that work over there. And most of the time, it was failed work. But um, for credit, for just for the person bringing that, because I'm like 30 minutes behind. Let's pull up Joe Betty. So, all right, y'all, look up this guy. Bernardino Drovetti. You want to see the people uh, who were in Egypt uh, participating in, in making this stuff? You know what I'm saying? Because I'm being genuine about this, and I'm being like, I don't want to really hurt people's feelings, but maybe I, I really will have to. So you have the French campaign in Egypt, right? 1798 to 99. All right. All right. So this is far before 1850, right? Among the antiquities sold to the king of Sardinia. There were, there was the invaluable torn royal cannon, a papyrus bearing the list of several pharaohs, which is datable to reign to the reign of Ramses II, and which was found by Drovetti at Luxor in 1820. All right, that was gonna be my next one. My next one was gonna be, but I'm not gonna do, I'm not gonna uh, do hardline boss like that. So my next one was gonna be that. You know, uh, let's see the legacy. And dude lost his mind too, by the way. After that. So okay, 
Uh, who's the other one connected to the to the Ramses? Oh, there's nothing about Ramses or anything or any of that temple stuff before that point. But you don't find it on camera pictures taken until a certain level was dug out. But I know that. So that's why I, that's why I said show me one before. And you can't just show me something saying from 1849 to this point. And all it is is some dilapidated statue. And then a picture of it, but it's not from 1849. It's 1850. Okay? All right. So I get a little extra credit on that. I like, I like that. A challenge like that our line boss put out you know so again you see it here that they they find some mystical magical poppy ross right so here i'll make it simple and i'm using i'm using uh wikipedia and i could definitely step away from wikipedia it's just it, everything goes bad and it gets real real bad but then you have to depend upon that person's information so just as much as that Wikipedia could be a lie, so the articles of after that can be a lie. In English, they don't play that. I'm gonna let y'all know they don't play that in uh, the European languages. They don't play with information like this Westernized American information. So let's bust it out. Make it simple. Right, let me get back up here. Let me show this before I dip. Before I dip out. All right. I got to do the whole Abu Simba. So, okay, I'll make it simple for you. Let me just go ahead and just bust it through the Abu Simba. I don't know why people are concerned with uh, with the tourist attraction called Egypt anyway, but let me bust it out. Bust it out for y'all real quick. Here, here you go. Uh, the other person dealing with Drovetti is Giovanni Belzoni. Okay? So, yeah. Ah, uh, since you can see the temple is forgotten. Look, 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 look. Okay, uh... The one image they have for Abu Simbel was just this one, this one thing. And it's 1849. The period is 1849 to 1875 of all the images. The one of Abu Simbel you talking about this? Is that Vaughn Alexandria Notch Abu Simbel? Is that what are you talking about? Uh, uh, the other image is after 1850. I mean, it's the reason why I talk about that. I I know I got friends that go on tourist attractions and and even friends that go on digs. But I want to share this. So anything BC time pseudo as hell. Uh, that's in anything dealing with 200 BC to 200 AD pseudo epigrapher. Uh, anything dealing with uh, history from 200 AD 
to 10th century AD is a Jew, Jew nonsense pseudo. Um, but I, for, for fair value, uh, they say the sand. Oh, let me let me take it off. I don't know if y'all can see it. It's good. But yeah, my uh, my thing went down, so I have to do it like this. So let me highlight it all in the blue. Let me see. The sand already covered the statues of the main temple up to their knees. The temple was forgotten until 1813 when Swiss Orientalist Johann Ludwig Burkhardt found the top fez of the main temple, Burkhardt, talked about his discovery with Italian explorer Giovanni Belzoni, who traveled to the site but was unable to dig out an entry to the temple. Belzoni returned in 1817, this time succeeding in his attempt to enter the complex. So, this is Wikipedia, this is why I want to see. A detailed early description of the temples together with contemporaneous line drawings can be found in Edward William Lane's description of Egypt, 1825, 1828. Yeah. You know, American University of Cairo. Come on, man. <laughs> Why y'all take me all the way down there? So anyway, uh, they put this story together. They started putting it together when uh, Napoleon lost that war and Rothschild lost that money. He wanted to make his money back. So this is one of his projects. You know what I'm saying? I'll, I'll just cut right to the chase with that. I'll cut right to the chase. I'll cut it right down the middle. Uh, Rothschild funded Napoleon's war. Napoleon lost. Rothschild wanted to push that his Jewish people, his people, who were being persecuted at the time, supposedly, were persecuted in Egypt that many years ago, and they deserve everything that they got in control of everything, because that's what they do. They control everything. They got all the money. They run all the stuff, period. But what I'm trying to explain is they made these sites. I'm not saying that everything that they found was an ancient. I'm not saying, well, not found, but what I'm saying is they changed, they altered, and they created OK, when they did that relocation. That relocation to save monuments of Nubia, that was 1959. When I asked people, show me uh, the images of Egypt. And show me that temple in whole, they never can show the temple in whole. It's only a, a picture close up or it's something that looks like this. Where is it at? Something that looks like this. Like, damn, what happened to the whole damn? Damn. You had a whole mountain and three other people. What happened? That's it. But then after the projects are done, you know, old boy wants to see a lot of this done before he died. I forgot which Rothschilds it was. You know, then you get this. Go back. That's when you get this. They messed up this one. So that's why I put out a video on my Matthew Craig channel called Ancient Egypt, or is it really ancient? And I had to really look into this stuff. And I have a whole lot of information to back that as, um, as well. But my goal is to actually go there and touch it and find out what's real and what hasn't been altered. I seen what hieroglyphs look like that have no alterations that was that were found and discovered recently. Well, at that time, it was discovered recently, and they haven't let the tourist attraction people in or any of that stuff. I seen what the hieroglyphs look like. I seen what they look like, man. Stop it. 
<laughs> That's all I can say. Stop it. All those. Mm. Well, anyway, y'all, man, uh, I'm glad you brought that up, Hardline Boss, because, um, yeah, all, yes, exactly. Ashra Kwesi has a video where he said, damn, um, over there, he even showed it. Look, they're chipping away the hieroglyphs, and they're going to change it up. This one, they already made some drawing outline. And by the time we come back here, it's going to be a whole new Egypt. Man, do you know when my elder told me when on his second trip to Egypt, uh, he asked Anthony Broder because he worked on he works on um, digs with Anthony Broder. And he said, let's go into this temple. Let's go into that temple. He said, nah, man, I'm, nah, you don't want to go into them temples. And the Oriental, inst the Orient Oriental institution, the institutionalize them temples so that's the point like i'm saying there is ancient stuff there but there is it's not what they're propping up for people to come look at or what they're making popular or what got some movie attached to it you know they did that for the bible <laughs> egypt is some bible stuff so all that stuff you see of the slaves on the Ramses Temple, you see the Nubian slaves, you see the so-called European slaves and all that. That's modern. That, bro, they put that stuff there recently. That stuff is not ancient. Wow, look at all this stuff. Wow, they had a secret technology to make all this stuff and not have any chisel. But then they're going to come and tell you they chiseled this stuff out, but it has no chisel marks. Okay. Okay. But the technology to make it like that, oh, it was invented in the 19th century. Oh, yes. I'll believe that. So there's a lot of stuff about Egypt that I can expose, but I don't want to burn everything out at one time. So the Ramses thing is you can't show me that whole thing like that at that time because they didn't have that shit together like that. When you look at the stuff where it's like covered up uh, from up to the heads, like I said, it was covered up to the ankles or something like that. When you really look, dig into that stuff, man, and you try and see an original, like, a, like, like what you want to see is the image in 1813 of Ramses, you know, but I, I I put out a date where you can find it, and I want people to look into this stuff so you can see what it looked like then and what it looks like today. And then you can question if if those uh, photographs like that one right here, that's that's just raggedy. That's just raggedy. Like, don't tell me that's the Bible story shit, bro. Like you can't even make you can't make any of that out. That's not gonna cut it. <laughs> you can't nah, that's not gonna cut it, man. Those other pictures are after. They're after the point. You know. All they did is find these statues around and then put them in different locations. And they have failed projects. And they altered, they altered them. And sometimes they destroyed the monuments doing these projects. I got the receipts on. But anyway, y'all, man, I have seated my time, man. Y'all got to ask y'all with Lotus. Uh, this is something I love doing. Um, nah, nah, you can't, you can't find that. Oh, uh, I love challenges. I got stuff that I'm going to put out there. Everybody's going to have to challenge or say, what the hell is Lotus talking about? So that's a good. That's very good. Um, but anyway, like I said, before 1959, uh, the Temple of Ramses, it didn't look the way it did. They didn't have it all nice and neat, suited and booted for tourist attractions until then. But you can see uh, here, they call it the rediscovery, you know, and they say that basically they forgot about it until 1813, until Johann Ludwig Bacard. So you got to look into who this weirdo is, you know. And when you look into what he did, <laughs> all these people were working for Rothschild, man. Rothschild and Rockefeller, you know, to make it simple. Let me find it. And that was their greatest project was Ramses because now they could slide that in the Bible. Now they have a, a way to attach some ancient slave nonsense going on and let my people go. 
but you're always going to find 1813. You're always going to find that. 1813, again. Literature of travel. So I'm going to give y'all give y'all a little bit, man. Give y'all a little bit. Telling you, just because it's not on Wikipedia don't mean the people ain't lying. These are people who are trying to make money. Keep that in mind. Ricard discovered Rose Red Petra in the Great Temple Abu Simbel. They're not going to give you too much of anything. Look, 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 look. Educated at home and, and at school, but not tall, in the shuttle, or uh, studied at the University of Leipzig. Uh, okay, oh, Guttingen <laughs> travels London, uh, introduced to Joseph Banks and the Association for Promoting the Discovery of the Interior Parts of Africa. Y'all, type that in, type that in, and then you're gonna, you'll, you'll be able to attach world prisoner <laughs> tourist attractions, and you'll see what, you, what you're not gonna find much with the Dogon country. Uh, Serengeti or whatever, but that's there you go. Just look it up, Joseph Banks. So, eight minutes. I'll give y'all about eight minutes. Let's see who Joseph Banks is. I mind y'all, yeah, there's a lot of people named Joseph Banks. All right. I mind y'all, if it's a fellow of the Royal Society connected to the origin of it, some goddamn financial stuff going on here, there's some trickery and lies and some manipulation. So when you look up Joseph Banks, what do you see? Sir Joseph Banks, first baronet, GCB. What's a GCB? Oh man, come on. Well, anyway, it's kind of bootleg anyway. I'm doing this showing on my phone. Uh, OGB is the order of the bath. They, they were dirty. And the other title is not only was he a fellow of the Royal Society, he was a. Take a back. Peace. Oh, again, the purpose of showing Joseph Banks, that's the, fin that's the, the financier behind that stuff in Egypt at the time. It's a fellow of the Royal Society, and they ain't dealing with no real shit. They're only dealing with making something and making money off of it. That's it. Again, when you look up, go all the way back. Let's recap before I bounce out that that Ramsey's Temple Abu symbol is a total set. It's a total setup to perpetrate the biblical story of Moses and Ramses. And did I knock it out? Uh, well, anyway, I already showed it. So y'all see, go look it up. It was Joseph Banks, a president of the Royal Society, kicking off all that stuff. Again, the one, the person who found it, the person who supported the financial, the financier, Joseph Banks, all right. And who do they add, who did they answer to and get their finances from on their projects during that time? The Rothschilds, the other families, or whatever. So anyway, that's just the point of that, y'all, man. Uh the tourist attraction that we call Ramses that a lot of people go to because they want to they feel like they were enslaved there in some biblical time to feel all good, and then go back home and say, Wow. I got to go where my people were enslaved. 
You've been fooled, okay? From Bernardo, from Bernardino Drovetti to Ludwig Bacard to Joseph Banks, all right? These people have projects in making these things, okay? 72 savants, they didn't go there to look at something and decipher something. They went there to make stuff. Peace. Don't fall for them tourist attractions in the World Fairs. Man, I didn't even touch the World Fairs yet, but I have some Wi-Fi problems. Next week, y'all, I'll touch on everything, and uh, I'll be on later. Uh, won't really be talking about this. We'll be talking about something else. We'll be going in on that information. Rob Bourne and uh, Live Story and keep putting out. So it's time to put the debunking shoes back on. This is not about debunking. This is showing and proving that there were people who financed these tourist attractions, uh, Rothschilds and Rockefellers. Uh, to make it simple, uh, the Rothschilds control the tourist attractions. They're the ones that pay the people to do all the stuff. Like he's, he's with Joseph Banks. He's uh, with everybody with Napoleon. So period. I mean, what you going to say? I got proof that he's the one that financed Napoleon's war in Egypt, which they call Battle of the Pyramids. I have, I have, I have the receipts. And when they lost the war, he wanted to make his money back. So he invested in making this stuff. So it's like out of nowhere, they start finding all these things. No, it took time for them to make these projects. It took years for them to make these things and cover up that real ancient stuff uh, and all the stuff like, you know, that's, that's really from an ancient time over there in Egypt, which is a lot older than what people say. Some Russian uh, archaeologists went into Egypt and they're talking about uh, the stuff, the real, the original Sphinx, the original material that has been redecorated. And they chopped up the, the eight-sided pyramid of Giza. Um, those things, they're talking about stuff being old. They're talking about damn near a million years. So the way they're dating, I don't care. I don't care if it is a million years. I don't believe in no dating methodology or anything. But that's what they're putting out. I don't give a damn. That Ramsey's Temple, that shit was put together. That Tutankhamen temp, that Tutankhamen stuff, they put that together. That uh, 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 Akhenaten, man, they put that together. Those are the main three. Besides those great, the Great Pyramid, um, those are the main three tourist attractions. And those three tourist attractions are all tainted. And I have further information, but I'm going to share it next week, y'all. Oh, man, peace. Yeah, basically, <laughs> exactly. That's what I'm putting. I'm getting the fake news out. Time to get the fake news out. So don't fall for the uh, tourist attraction hustle. Uh, put it like this. Here, here, let me share some insight so it becomes personal. Like grocery shopping, right? You get your, your money and you go on grocery shopping, right? So you go there, you got like $400 to spend. And you go, you spend like $350. And you bring all this food and all this stuff home to your refrigerator. When you can just go di day by day. Damn, I'm going to go to the supermarket and you're only spending like $15. The next day, oh, damn, nope, I don't need to go. I'm eating leftovers. So instead of spending like 300 and some dollars to feed you and two other people, if you got five people in your family, you know, then that's a whole other story on how much you're going to spend. But people are going out, you're spending all this money, blowing it, falling for the grocery scam to go buy these groceries and get these discounts and these deals. Well, it's the same thing with the tourist attraction. You don't, They're not going to send you to uh, the stuff that they just found recently. They're not going to go to the place where it's not all spectacular and, and movie bringing uh, uh, tickets and stuff like that. The real stuff is going to be somewhere some out, out of reach, you know, saying that you that they're not talking about. But if you're going to those popular ones, bro, they have dressed all of that up and down. Again, the Ramsey's Abu Simbel, they moved it around like Tetris, y'all. I already showed the images of it. The uh, Tutankhamen stuff, man, come on, man. Are they taking this Tutankhamen body all over the world, y'all, man? Y'all pay attention, man. Dressed it up, dress it up and down. The I cannot, uh, I cannot. Don't get me started on I cannot's temple, man. That nonsense, <laughs> that trash looking garbage. That, that, the hieroglyphs look, they didn't even put that much effort into that, man. They put more effort into making un, uh, upside down hidden images in two time in, in uh, I cannot's temple, y'all. So, y'all, how deep it goes. Um, and, and the Rosetta Stone fake as hell. That's why they got damn near 50 of them. 
Rosetta Stone, fake as hell, the fellows of the Royal Society made that to support their nonsense because after uh, Rothschild put his money into it, uh, other people, you know, wanted stuff. But anyway, that's too much detail, y'all. 12 o'clock, man. Y'all, I got I to gotta get my money. Uh, you see, there you go. The Valley of the Kings is the one I'm going to show next week. <laughs> hey, you know what? You know what? For, before next week, y'all, I'm going to give y'all a sneak a sneak peek at that. I'm glad I saw that before I got off. I'm glad I saw that. <laughs> Hold on, man. About Hold on, man. All right, y'all. Uh, nope, nope, nope. Let me do it this way. Let me see if they got this. this. Nope. Watch this, y'all. I'm going to show you what the Valley of the Kings. See, I, I didn't, haven't been able to show y'all what the Ramses uh, temple looked like before they touched it up. Because, like I said, all my stuff is 18th century, including here in America. Chicken Itza. I can show y'all what Chicken Itza. I can show you what all that stuff looked like um, before 1813. They really went around touching everything up after 1813. But watch this the valley of the kings where's that at off the boat santos watch this watch this this is i'm gonna go into this next week i'm only gonna show a sneak peek of it i drove the pan-africans crazy drove them crazy with this uh you know what Hold on, I could put it right here. I got it. I got it on mine. Let me see. Hold on. Hold up. Oh man, come on. Let me let me. <laughs> all right, all right. Hold on, let me let me put it up. There you go, right there. There you go, right there. I didn't even have to show you that. That's what the Valley of the Kings looked like in the 18th century. Oh, I'm not done yet.
Now you know what? I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna save it for next Friday. I'm gonna save it for that's what the Valley of the Kings look like. Okay, that's what it looked like in the 18th century. Notice I can only show you a drawing. There was no camera, no photography. All right, all right. The other stuff too. Yeah, I'm gonna show. We're just gonna save it for next week. Post your questions on the video, man. Challenge it. I love the challenges. Um, but all that stuff will be uh, next week. Um, <clears throat> you talking about images of Valley of the Kings? So I have another image of the Valley of the Kings by, uh, you know, this person who I'm going to show you once again. His name is Richard Coco. And guess what he is? He's also a fellow of the Royal Society. But anyway, y'all, I got to get out and get this money. Peace. Appreciate y'all, man. Much love out there. Uh, yeah, save them questions. I'll, I'll definitely uh, go over that, too. But that, there you go, Abu Simbel. Um, you can't really find what Abu Simbel looked like before they messed with it, altered it, and put the stuff together. I'll go over explaining a lot of that stuff next Friday. Uh, the focus is the tourist attractions of the whole planet. And the World Fairs. I didn't touch on the World Fairs, so I'll be doing twice as much information on the World Fairs uh, next Friday. Peace.